Hi guys, welcome to fourth grade, chapter three, lesson three. We're gonna go ahead and get started with number two. We are just using the box method that we've been using um, for single digit numbers by double digit to do double digit by double digit, okay? So I'm actually gonna come over here and I'm gonna do it on a scrap piece of paper. Okay, and so I'm gonna draw my box. Now I know that they put different sizes of boxes. You don't have to, it doesn't matter, okay? So we're going to split it up into four this time instead of into two because we have 18 is 10 plus eight and 34 is 30 plus four, okay? So now we can go ahead and get started, okay? Eight times three is 24, and then I have a zero, okay? Eight times four is 32, okay? Now we're done with eight, okay? 10 times 30, well, one times three is three, and then add in those two zeros, okay? Done with 30. Now 10 times four is 40. So now all I'm gonna do is take the boxes that are here and add them up over on the side. So I have 300, I have 240, I have 40, and I have 32. I cross them off just so I make sure I get them all and I don't have to backtrack and find out which one I missed. Okay, so all the way down, there's a two. Four plus four is eight, plus three more is 11, carrier one. One plus three is four, plus two more is six. So 18 times 34 is 612, okay? I'm gonna do it on the paper this time. We've got less room, but we're gonna make it work, okay? Okay, so. Okay, so 22 is 20 plus two, and 26 is 20 plus six, okay? So now, two times 20 is 40, two times six is 12. I'm done with my two, okay? 20 times 20, well, two times two is four, and then I have to add in those two zeros. And now 20 times six, six times two is 12, and then I have to add in that one zero. So now I'm done with that. All done, all my boxes are filled in, okay? So now I'm gonna take my biggest one first, which is 400, boom, done, 120, boom, done, 40, done, 12, done, and I'm just gonna add them up, okay? So all the way down, two, two plus four is six, plus one more is seven, and four plus one is five, 500, 72. Okay, we're going to do one more. Okay. Okay. All right. So 15 is 10 plus 5. Okay. 33 is 30 plus 3. All right. So now 5 times 3 is 15 plus that 0 there. Don't forget about it. Okay, and it doesn't matter which box you do first, so I can go five times three next, it's just 15. Now I'm done with my five, okay? 10 times 30, well, one times three is three, and then I have the one, two zeros, okay? 10 times three, 30, okay? Now on the side here, I'm gonna write 300, boom, done. 150, boom, done. 30, done and 15, done, and I'm gonna add them up, okay? All the way down, five, five plus three is eight, plus one more is nine, and then three plus one, four, 495, okay? All right, you guys do five and six. We're gonna come down to seven, okay? So, we're gonna find Sebastian's mistake. It says Sebastian made the following model to find the product of 17 times 24. Okay, so we're gonna find the problem. Well, 17 is 10 plus seven, 
and 24 is 20 and 4, so we're good there. Okay, 10 times 20 is 200, we're good there. Okay, 10 times 4 is 40, we're good there. 7 times 20 would be 7 times 2 is 14, but then I have to add that zero one. That's where he made his mistake. Okay, so his model's not correct. Not correct because seven times twenty equals one forty, not fourteen. There we go. Okay. All right. Each student in Miss Sykes' kindergarten class has a box of crayons. Each box has thirty-six crayons. If there are eighteen students, how many crayons? Okay. So. Make our box. Okay. Now, 36 is just 30 plus 6, and 18 is just 10 plus 8. Okay. So, 8 times 3, 24. Have to add that zero. 8 times 6, 6 times 8 is 48. 10 times 30, well, 1 times 3 is 3, it's two zeros. And 10 times 6 is 60. So now I'm just going to go over to the side. 300, 240, 60, and 48. And I'm going to add them up. Okay. All the way down, just 8. 4 plus 6 is 10, plus 4 more is 14. 1 plus 3 is 4, plus 2 more is 6. So, 648 crayons. Okay, good. Okay, so we're going to go over to the back. You guys are going to do the lesson check. You totally can. Okay, we are going to go down to the star review. Says Mariah builds, number three, says Mariah builds a tabletop using square tiles. There are 12 rows of tiles and 30 tiles in each row. How many tiles does Mariah use? Well, we're just going to, actually, we're just going to do old-fashioned multiplication. How's that? Okay, so see that zero right there? I love multiplying with numbers that end in zero, so I'm just going to take it out and put it at the end. So now, 3 times 2 is 6, and 3 times 1 is 3. So 360 tiles. All done. Okay? All right. Trevor bakes eight batches of biscuits with 14 biscuits in each batch. He sets aside four biscuits from each batch for a bake sale and puts the rest in a container. How many did he put in the container? Well, I could do eight times 14 and then subtract eight or four from each batch, or I could just say 10 biscuits in eight batches instead of 14 because he puts so aside four from each batch. Well, 14 minus that four is just 10. So 80 biscuits. Okay. Okay. So I also, I could do 14 times eight and then take that number and subtract 8 times 4, which is 32, okay, so then 8 times 4 is 32, 8 times 1 is 8, plus 3 more is 111, 100, or sorry, 112, 112 minus 32, 2 minus 2 is 0, I cannot take 3 away from 1, so I'm going to make that an 11, and 11 minus 3 is 8, same answer, okay. So you can do it both ways, okay? It's just easier for me if I just take four biscuits off of each of those 14 and multiply it by 10, okay? All right, Lee feeds her dogs three cups of food each day. About how many cups of food does she feed her dog eat in 28 days? So just 28, we're gonna multiply it by three, okay? All right, three times eight, 24. Three times six, or sorry, three times two is six, plus two more, 84 cups. There we go, okay? All right, 
Find the product of 20 times 9 times 5 and tell which property you use. Well, I'm just going to do 20 times 9, and I'm going to get 180. Okay, because 2 times 9 is 18. I'm going to add that 0 on the end. Okay, then I'm going to do 180 multiplied by 5. Well, 5 times 0 is 0, 5 times 8 is 40. Here you are 4, 5 times 1 is 5, plus 4 is 9. So, 900. And I'm not going to worry about telling which property we used right now because we didn't actually use one of the properties, okay? So, okay. All right, guys, thanks for hanging out for 3.3. Come on back for 3.4. See you soon.